This is Nyx. Nyx has an ability that allows her to control the mind of her enemies and trick them into becoming allies for a period of time. But you've seen the title of this video and you're probably thinking, well what is the issue then? The issue is related to enemies who summon additional units. Well, in fact there are two issues, one that is kind of recent and one that has been around basically since Nyx existed in the game. The first bug involves a summoner enemy dying and then their summoned allied units turning hostile against players. When I first discovered this back when around Drockmasters came out, I posted it as a bug. After two or three months of posting bug reports with no peep from DE and only I've never seen this happen posts from other players, I gave up and just accepted it as an intended change. The next logical step of course then is to show the flaw in Digital Extremes logic by explaining why this should not be a thing. Let's take a Drockmaster for example. Your mind control has a hundred second duration or something like that and you mind control him and then he spawns in three friendly drops. Before the duration of your mind control is up, the Drock Master is killed, but the loyal Drocks now disobey their dying master's commands to attack the Grenier and then turn around and fight the Tenno. I mean, come on, DE. Are you that anti-fun that you have to implement something so illogical? This is Nullifier's removing Nidus mutation stacks level of retardation. To be fair though, they did this change before they drank toilet water and did this nidus thing, so whatever. Now I want to be perfectly clear, it would make sense if the duration of mind control ends and then the Drox turn hostile, because their master just snapped out of the mind control and commanded them to attack the Tenno again. That makes logical sense, unlike them dying and the units disobeying their master. The same goes for most, if not all enemies that spawn friendly units when mind controlled, and none of them make sense at all. Notice how I said spawn friendly units. This is because the second issue, the one that has been a thing in Warframe since Nyx was released, relates to two units that don't spawn friendly units when mind controlled. These include the Corpus Tech, who will spawn hostile shield ospreys, and the Fusion Moa, which ejects a hostile drone when severely damaged. Why this is still a thing after three, try not to swear in this one, after three years is still a thing? Some people even think it's fixed, as there was rumors floating around that it was. But anyone who actually attempts to find this out will know that a damaged tech or fusion MOAs spawn hostile units. So that's two related issues with Nyx, and pretty much my only issues with Nyx herself. In fact, even with these two stupid, illogical flaws, I still find mind control builds with Mind Freak to be very fun. Fun. A word that seems to have lost its meaning to DE lately. That being said, what are your thoughts on these two issues? Are you like most players who tend to just use her other abilities and not really focus on mind control? Or are you like me and whenever you see a tech or fusion MOA spawn a hostile unit you feel disappointed and frustrated? In any case, if you enjoyed this video you may enjoy my other rants which I'll put on the screen now. The Valkyr one is not recommended since it's just me being picky, but the stealth one is a real issue that might interest you. Thanks for watching. To be fair though, they did this change before the Drock Toilet